Uh, going to be getting some uh, reaction from the White House, a reaction to a devastating setback for the U.S.-U.K. relationship. The British Parliament only moments ago rejecting a motion to authorize, at least preliminarily, a resolution that would have allowed the British government to go ahead and work with the United States in dealing with a military response to Syria's alleged use of chemical weapons against civilian targets in Syria. But that resolution just moments ago went down to defeat despite the urgings of the British Prime Minister David Cameron. 285 votes against the resolution, 272 in favor. A major setback uh, could be a serious political problem for the longevity of David Cameron's government. Let's go to our senior White House correspondent, Jim Acosta. He's getting reaction from officials over there. What are they saying, Jim? Uh, Wolf, we can report that a senior U.S. official tells CNN that uh, unilateral action may be necessary now against Syria in light of the vote in Britain. That source uh, telling CNN, quote, I do think that is a possibility. And then speaking about the vote uh, in British Parliament, uh, this official said, quote, we care what they think. We value the process, but we're going to make the decision we need to make. And then this official pointed back uh, to what uh, the principal deputy press secretary, uh, Josh Ernest, said at the White House briefing earlier this afternoon who talked about the national security interests of the United States and how the president is going to uh, seek out actions that advance those interests uh, no matter what is happening on the world stage. So this is an indication, Wolf, uh, that the president is willing to go it alone against Syria. Well, he Wolf. certainly doesn't have the British uh, government on board, at least not yet, in this uh, huge embarrassing setback. Here's the question. Uh, the U.N. weapons inspectors, they're supposed to be uh, coming